Global Grooves has partnered with the Health and Wellbeing College in Ashton to deliver a number of creative workshops. The project we've called Creative Flow came about because they saw some of our work and they thought that the additional creative content that we could add would be a new and sometimes challenging experience for the students. We know that there is an evidence base for improved um, mental health outcomes for people who engage in creative activities and we work on a very what we call like a bottom-up approach, very collaborative approach with our students and what they've been telling us is that they wanted more of those creative type courses so we worked with Global Grooves to come up with a bit of a programme and the aims were to improve mental health outcomes via those creative type courses. I think these creative courses are just brilliant because they're so inclusive for, for everybody. You don't have to be an expert in any of the things that we've done. So, you know, we've done creative upcycling, clay modelling, and it's a real opportunity for anybody at all levels to join in. And we've seen those positive health outcomes already. So what we've tried to do is to give the students a flavour of the skills of the artists that we work with and also what we were asked to do by the students and the college themselves was to give them an off-site experience. Some students have felt confident enough to sign up to come here to the Vale. That means that they're in a really stimulating creative environment and they can see other things going on which also might open opportunities for other engagement with the other artists that are here. So I think before starting the course I had a sense of being a little bit lost and burnt out as well from work and, and being in a really intense environment at university. So coming home I wanted to find somewhere where I could express myself freely and mainly just lift my mood so that is exactly what this course has done. So I'm definitely going to continue getting involved with The Vale and the Health and Wellbeing College because it's been fantastic. Being part of the course has absolutely helped me with my self-esteem and my mood. I've been looking forward to Wednesdays to come out. Um, it's definitely helped me feel better about myself and I think also productivity and make something that, you know, potentially could be on the wall. <laughs> Definitely I would do more courses like this and continue with the creative site because I think that's the part that is helping me to come out and not just be at home. Well the first week I came along I actually was a little bit behind everyone else because I'd missed a week but that hasn't been a problem. Everybody's been so helpful. I do intend to go and buy myself one of these silk painting uh, kits off the internet that I've seen. I've enjoyed it that much. I want to do more of it. And I love the fact that a lot of it is guided in a way that even if you're not very creative, you can be pleased with what the outcome is. I'm here to um, promote art, um, promote confidence, and also promote, I'm hoping, a feeling of well-being in the fact that they're making and creating something. Two today have taken their part-finished flower home to finish it off. They're not just bothered about the, the session, they want to finish it off and put it on display in their own place. So that to me is, is a proof of ownership of the piece of art that they have created themselves. I haven't said make this, make that. I've shown them things and they're off they go. I can't think of one single person that hasn't benefited from it. And I remember a lady in particular she could barely speak the day she came in. She was shaking from head to toe. And then at one point when we had the big bosses in here for a meeting, she got up and spoke in front of them. It was just so wonderful to see the difference in her. It was great. Well, when I first came, I just used to run in the toilet and cry. I wouldn't speak very much at first, but then as I started to get used to it, I made friends. It helped me to get out of the house because I don't really leave the house. Um, and it, it built my confidence up and the support I've got is unbelievable. Working in a group, it does help that social interaction where a lot of people have been kind of isolated and shut away and developed kind of poor habits in regards to managing their mental health. This is a way of helping them get out and getting to understand what mental health is and how they can kind of improve that by doing things like some of these short courses here. 
Plus, you're in an environment where you're not judged. That's a really big thing when you've got mental health issues. You can just be yourself, basically. My confidence grew um, from coming here, um, which has led me to be a peer trainer, which is brilliant. And my mental health has improved. It's really, I'm a lot more settled now than I've ever been in my life. So we've had brilliant feedback from the courses so far that students have been engaging in. I mean, when we're in the office sometimes we can hear the laughter through the walls and, you know, a lot of our courses are clinically based courses and they are quite serious. It's really nice to see on the flip side students coming together and, you know, really just connecting and, and enjoying themselves and the social connections that come out of it, I think, are invaluable. So seeing students have fun and uh, lots of laughter in the classroom is, is brilliant for us.